everyone and welcome back to this video series about Vim Backup for AWS. Today's video is about creating and adding IAM roles in your backup appliance. As I mentioned in the initial configuration video, to back up and restore resources in other AWS accounts or specify custom IAM roles with granular permissions, you have to add these IAM roles to Vim Backup for AWS. Using the default backup restore IAM role is not a best practice because it may grant unnecessary or excessive permissions and potentially expose your resources to security risks. You will see here that once you click add and give it a name and a description if you want, you have three options. You can add existing IAM roles from your current AWS account. You can add cross-account IAM roles that have permissions to access resources in other AWS accounts, or you can create a new IAM role through Vim Backup for AWS. Now, I'm going to go through each one of them and show you how to configure them. In this first case, we're going to create an IAM role in the same AWS account where the backup appliance resides. You can do it through the AWS Management Console, through the AWS CLI, or with the AWS API. I'll demonstrate it on the console since it's easier to visualize. Now let's go to the IAM Console and navigate to Access Management and click on Roles. Now we're going to create a new role. In this step, Pick AWS service, then under use case, you can select EC2 if you want to create the backup policy, service or restore IAM role, or you can pick S3 if you want to create the repository IAM role. I'm going to create the repository IAM role. Click next. At the permission step of the wizard, we're going to create a new IAM policy to be attached to the IAM role. The Vim user guide has all the IAM role permissions set out for you. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description below. Since I'm creating a repository IAM role, I'll click here. And these are the permissions we need to set to the IAM role. Let's copy the permissions and go back to the AWS Management Console. Now click on Create Policy. And here we'll click on JSON. Let's delete this and paste what we just copied. Click on Next. Now let's give the policy a name. And you can also verify the permissions that you gave and add tags if you want. Finally, click on Create Policy. Now go back to the IAM role and select the policy that we just created. Click Next. Finally, give the role a name. You can check the trusted entities that we have. We have uh, S3 because we want to create a repository. The added permissions and you can add tags if you want. Finally, click Create Role the role backup role was created. Once our role is created, we need to configure a trust relationship to allow the Vim backup for AWS appliance to use the IAM role for performing operations. This is an important step and you'll have to do this for the cross account IAM role as well. I'll leave a link to the documentation on the video description so you can read more about it. Now go to the EC2 Management Console and locate the instance running your Vim Backup for AWS Appliance. Mine is this one. In the Security tab, click on the IAM role which says Vim Impersonation Role. Then copy the ARN and now go back to the roles that you created Go back to roles and click on the role that you just created. 
Now go to the Trust Relationships tab, click Edit Trust Policy, and you have to paste the following in here. This code snippet is in the documentation that I'll leave in the description. Don't forget to replace the row ARN with what you've just copied. Click on Update Policy, and now you're good to go. Go back to the Vim Backup for AWS Console and add the AWS row name that you just created. Click Next and then click Finish. That's it. You've created an IAM row and then you added it to your Vim Backup for AWS appliance. Now you can start using it for the same account where the appliance resides. Now let's go over the second case. Let's click Add again and give it a name. This one will be a disaster recovery role. Click Next and we're going to select the second option. Here I want to show you something. If I enter this information here, so the account ID of my disaster recovery role, an AWS role name that I created, for instance, JFMDR, and any num for the external ID, and I click Next and Finish, you're going to see an error message. It says invalid role or credentials for specified account, status code forbidden. This happens because we need to configure the trust relationship for the custom role. Remember from the first case that we did the same, this trust relationship is essential. So let's take a step back and see how to correctly configure this role. On that note here, I'm assuming you've deployed Vim Backup for AWS using CloudFormation or through Vim Backup and Replication or Terraform. If you've deployed Vim Backup for AWS using an Amazon machine image, you must initially create some IAM roles required for the backup appliance configuration. Check the links in the description below to learn more. Now go to your AWS console. Let me close here. Before going to your other account, we need to copy this account ID. So copy it and save it somewhere else. Now let's create the IAM role in our other account. I'm going to sign out and sign in in my disaster recovery account. Great, here I'm on my secondary account, different from where my backup appliance reside and my backup data as well, because we recommend keeping the backup appliance and data in a separate account from your production environment. So you can have your production environment, your backup account, you can have a disaster recovery account, separate accounts, so it's safer to be able to perform the restore and recovery operations. Now let's go to the IAM console. Navigate under access management and click on roles. Here, click create role. In this step, we're going to click on AWS account. Then we're going to select another AWS account and we have to enter the account ID of the account where our backup appliance reside. So that number that we just copied. If you want to increase the security of the row in case you're going to share it with a third party company, for example, you can select the require external ID checkbox and enter a password or you can require MFA. Click Next. In the permission step of the wizard, select an IAM policy to be attached to the IAM role. I had already created an IAM policy beforehand, so I'll pick this one. If you need help, I'll leave a link in the description below for how to do that and the IAM permissions that you can assign to your IAM role. Click Next. Now specify a name for your role and a description if you want. Review the trusted entities, which is the AWS account where our backup resides, 
and you can also review the permissions. If you want, you can also add tags. Finally, click on Create Role. Now let's go back to the Vim Backup for AWS Console. Let's click OK, Previous to go back. And here we have to specify the account ID of the trusting account, which is the AWS account that owns the services and resources we want to access. I had already put the correct one, so I will leave it here. Then we add the AWS role name that we just created. And finally, an external ID, which is a property in the trust policy of the cross account IAM role used for enhanced security. If you haven't specified an external ID when creating the role, provide a random value and Vim Backup for AWS will just ignore it. Once done, click Next and then Finish. That's it. Now you see we've created and added a new IAM role from a separate account, which is from a disaster recovery account. So we can do backup jobs from that account and store it in our backup account. Now, finally, let's go over the third case. Again, click on Add and give it a name. This one will be the production role. Click Next. Then we select the option to create a new IAM role. Here, you have to give an AWS role name. And then you have to select the checkboxes with the permission sets that you want to grant to the IAM role. The service role grants permission sufficient to launch worker instances. The policy role grants permissions sufficient to perform backup jobs within the AWS account. And the repository role grants permissions sufficient to add Amazon S3 buckets as backup repositories. If you want the IAM role to have granular permissions, do not select any of these checkboxes and after the IAM role is created, you can grant the necessary permissions to it in the AWS Management Console through the IAM policies. I'll leave the link in the description below for permissions. Now, provide a one-time access key for an IAM user that is authorized to create IAM roles in the AWS account. In my case, my production account. Vim Backup for AWS does not store the keys in the configuration database, and you can also delete the access key afterwards. Done. You have created a new IAM role in a different account through Vim Backup for AWS. And that's it for today. Remember that by adding specific IAM roles to the Vim Backup for AWS appliance, you can ensure that only the required permissions are granted reducing the attack surface and adhering to the principle of least privilege. This helps maintain a more secure and controlled environment for your AWS resources. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or check the documentation for Vim Backup for AWS. See you in the next video. Bye!